Prost. I've been working on submarines for nearly 30 years. I lost my family to this job. We've got to let you go. All of you. We don't have to take this. I know ways to get money. I need you, Robinson. I need a man like you. Last year, I went out to the Black Sea. We found something. One of the core ideas that I really liked in this movie is this idea of going into something and it not turning out exactly how you expected. Is there like a particular project that you worked on where it kind of ended up the same, like it didn't turn out the way that you had planned, maybe for better or worse? I think that almost every film you do, whether it's a fiction film or a documentary, turns out slightly different than you planned. Yeah. Um, I think that, you know, with a, with a documentary in particular, like <coughs> the film I did on Bob Marley, that, uh, that film, I didn't really know what the story was. Yeah. I just started shooting. I started going and meeting lots of people in Jamaica, talking to his family, talking to people. And as I went along, I... Um, discovered what I wanted it to be about. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the exciting things about documentary, but it's also nerve wracking because you, you don't know where you're going. The nature of a good story to me, and mm -hmm. I think story is really important in film, yeah. is that the nature of a good story is you don't know where it's gonna go. And you're playing with people's expectations, and particularly in genre, like Black Sea, a thriller. Yeah, yeah. So it's a genre movie, but you wanna, in some ways, hit people's expectations, but in other ways, subvert those expectations and, and take them somewhere else. So that's kind of the game that we're playing in a movie like this. Yeah, and, and the storyline to me is quite terrifying because mm. I, I can't help but put myself in that situation mm. because I feel like it kind of shows the dark side of humanity mm. in that you think about you, yourself going down there and maybe bringing your friends and people do crazy things for money. Well, I think that's the thing is that when you're in those extreme situations, uh, it brings out the best and the worst in people. Absolutely. Um, kind of human nature is concentrated. So in this movie, you have you know, the best in people, which is that they all band together when things are really desperate under, mm -hmm. under the captain, Jude Law's um, 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 kind of uh, supervision. They band together uh, to try and use their ingenuity to get out of the situation. Yeah. But at the same time, there's the kind of animal dark side of them, which is feeling like I'm going to survive mm -hmm. and you're not. Or yeah. I'm going to make sure that if there's anyone left alive last on this, it's going to be me. And of course, in submarines, that often means, you know, people drowning and other people closing doors on them and yeah. not letting them escape and waiting, you know, those sort of things. So, yeah, it's, it's both sides of human nature are present there. And that's, I think, what I loved about the setting of a submarine. One of the things is you've got this great tension all the time in the story because of just the environment you're in. Yeah. But also, you've got... Um, the kind of heightening of, uh, of human nature. Mm -hmm. You've got the good and the bad present at the same time. Yeah. Did you go down like in a submarine? To I didn't actually go down in a submarine. I've been in lots on the surface and then we filmed in a real submarine for part of this, a real Russian submarine from the yeah. 60s. And uh, uh, that was just floating on the surface of the water. But of course it doesn't make any difference if you're only on the surface or if you're underwater in terms of the feeling because um, there's no windows. There's no yeah, way yeah. of knowing whether you're underwater or not. But Jude Law, he did go down in a submarine. He's, he, he got so into the research for this. Mm -hmm. He spent several months, you know, working on his accent, his his kind of make his muscle look like he was a sailor, all yeah, these yeah. kind of things. But um, he went off with the Royal Navy on a nuclear submarine for five days in the Mediterranean, slept in a room with 18 other guys, did a, kind of like some engineering work. They made him change the light bulbs. Just like, I'm not sure what he could yeah, yeah. be confident to do. But um, yeah, he, he, he really, he, he's the only one who actually went down. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Uh, I feel like you captured like the claustrophobic feel mm. really well. So I'm really curious to know how you did the shooting side of it because it, it made me feel like I was, or it kind of took me back to watching like Alien, the way that, mm. especially once the ship hit the bottom mm. and there's like nobody in there and the way mm. that the camera just kind of slowly comes up and the mm. colors that you have, there's kind of like different shades of gray and then you got the red mm. kind of flashing. Well, one of the things in the filming in a submarine is that it's a kind of small place. It's a tiny little, it's a corridor really with a few broom cupboards off right. it. It's so small. but you've got to be in that space for like 90 minutes and, and you've got to make sure it's not boring. So mm -hmm. using color and light and changing the way the lighting works is all part of that. Um, sometimes going outside the submarine to see the environment around it, it obviously helps with that. Right. Um, but uh, I, think that the, I think that the main thing that we did um, in terms of filming style was we made the decision never to put the camera 
you know, never to remove a wall on the set and sort of float the camera around. Because we tried that once or twice. Yeah. When we did that, it felt like a cheat. You knew that the camera wasn't inside the submarine. Mm -hmm. You knew that it was kind of somewhere it shouldn't be. And especially because we filmed the first part of the movie on a real submarine where you had to be, you know, for real, the camera right. had to be somewhere possible. Um, yeah, we, we, we realized that we had to be authentic. And it, it's frustrating because it means you can't move the camera around like you normally would in a movie, and you can't move the actors around like you normally would because it's kind of, they're all in a corridor, really. Right. But, uh, but uh, it definitely, in the end, it, it, it pays off because it, yeah. it, it feels claustrophobic, it feels realistic. Five. Four. Three. Turn! Robinson! You just want to live now. Can we just live? We're gonna take him down one by one. Yes! So close up door!